everybody. I'm Dee. I am pretty new to gaming and I'm so excited because today I get to explore the first update since I started playing Minecraft. We're gonna make a little bit of... <gasps> there they are! Blocks of bamboo! All right. I, I'm guessing I need like three in order to make planks and I think you need planks to make the raft. Maybe not. Oh, never mind. Not the slabs. Okay. Okay. Sheesh. If you've been around here long enough, you know this is pretty normal for me. <laughs> and there's the bamboo raft. And that's what we're going to take exploring. Other than that, we have already packed our suitcase. I've got lots of things going there. Um, I I packed the materials to make Eyes of Ender because I think what I want to do um, eventually is is make or is as we explore go to a stronghold and see if I can find some armor trims, and then that can also possibly get us back home if we if we make sure that we've like broken our spawn point. Alrighty, here we are at the edge of our explored territory. Look at me sitting on this raft. I love it. So, we're going to head off across the ocean. I suppose I should know which direction I'm going. North. Interesting. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Well, one, I was going to check the desert to see if there were camels. I don't know if... See, I don't know really how updates work. And I've heard, you know, kind of bits and pieces about different things that I can expect to find. But I've generally tried to, like, keep the information that I've gotten fairly minimal. Because, like, I don't want... I, I want to go through the experience of exploring it all for the first time, you know? Now, this is new desert for us, I think. Don't think we've loaded this in. So let's hop right up in here and see if we can't find a camel, maybe? Now, I've tried to keep up to date with, you know, things that are going to affect performance or, uh, or technical stuff. Um, but as far as, like, the, the additions like camels and cherry trees, I know that they exist. And, and like, armor trims and stuff. I know that they exist. I don't really know anything about them beyond that. I don't know what to expect about them. I don't know, for example, if I'm just going to find camel camels wandering somewhere in a desert, or if I need to, like, go to a village. <gasps> Speaking of which, apparently it was going to a village. Awesome! Oh, will you look at him? Oh, he's beautiful. Hi, bud. Can I just, like, get on you? Why? I don't know. I don't know what needs to be done to ride them. Oh, no. Buddy, are you okay? Careful there. Something I just remembered is I think you're supposed to, like, make a brush. I feel like I've heard this. I feel like I heard this recently, actually. Is you're supposed to, like, be able to brush the suspicious sand. But where do you find suspicious sand? And can you pick up sp 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 this suspicious sand? <laughs> okay, I don't see any sand that I'd call suspicious. So I think let's continue our journey a little ways. Now, obviously, our ultimate goal right now is to go off in search of uh, cherry trees. <laughs> Um, and I'm not sure exactly where to find those. I would imagine they'd be a temperate biome. That's my guess. <laughs> oh, smithing template for coast armor trim. That is something we love to see, isn't it? Alright, I have so much iron I don't need anymore. Alright. Alright. And back to our raft. Ooh, what's that over there? It looks like it's probably a drowned thing, maybe? But I don't think I've actually ever seen anything that looks quite like this. There are drowned, for sure.
Now, they're not after me, probably, until I get out of the boat. I feel like. So, what let's do is let's, uh... Come up here. Oh, the rain's the worst. There's a chest. Nothing special. Actually, I will take the coal. I will take the coal. That's useful. That looks like another drowned spot. Sure is. Shall we try? Shall we go for it? Let's see. Can I shoot through water? Oh, just my boat, apparently. All right. Juke. 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 Oh, perfect. I'll take some more coal, and that's it. Oh, copper's used in making the brush, apparently. Okay, that's cool. You know how, uh, I never could find a dark oak forest in this in this world? Well, I finally found one. Ooh, that's another drowned place. Let's check it out. I'm pretty sure I heard somewhere about, like, sniffer eggs. Oh, that guy has a trident. I'm pretty sure I heard somewhere about sniffer eggs, like, being in drowned stuff. Plus, like, maybe they have armor trims. Oh, he went out in one, one blow. Nice. That gravel looks... Oh, you can't pick it up. Uh... Okay, you know what I didn't bring? It's a crafting table, that's a problem. We're gonna set up camp here for a second because I just realized that suspicious gravel is a thing, I think? And, uh, yeah, we're gonna, I have the copper, so like, we're gonna look at what the crafting recipe is. Okay, one feather, one stick, and the copper. All right, Jamkin. Hello, buddy. I need, I need... Excuse. There we go. Feather. Boom! Alright. Look at this. Look at this. So, do I use the brush? Ooh. Oh, guys, this is so cool. Oh. I got a hoe. A wooden hoe. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, that looks a little more promising. Okay, just an emerald. Okay, but this is this is cool. It's a cool feature. What's that? A single gold nugget. Hmm. <laughs> that looks a little bit more like a pottery shard, which I <gasps> I made an advancement. I made an advancement. And I got a piece of pottery. Okay. Okay. I'm here for this. Okay. I think that's all the gravel this place has to offer us, but I'm glad we found that and figured it out. Now, I'm curious... What... Okay, so do you then make them out of bricks and then add these on that? Is that how that goes? Guess, guess we'll find out when we get home. <laughs> oh, that guy has a trident. Ouch. Got him! And a trident! Guys, look at that. I got myself a trident. I wasn't even going out looking for that. Ooh. This is another biome we haven't found in this world. Right here. All right. Well, I'm going to have to take down the coordinates for this. Now, here's something I don't know, and I don't know that I will be discovering it today. But I know that netherite is be going to become harder either to find or to put onto armor. So, I'd love you to tell me, <laughs> if you know, um, what that's all about. Okay, somebody posted in uh, the Ravine's Arcadia Discord, um, you know, updates, you know, 1.20 1 1 things that are updated, and one of the things is a structure that you can find in old growth birch forests and there's suspicious gravel there you can find a music disc in that particular suspicious gravel 
so let's wander this old growth birch forest on foot a little bit. <laughs> oh, this is so pretty. Oh, the bees and the petals. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is beautiful. Guys, this is vanilla Minecraft. Here's something that I don't know. Are these blocks? These, these things here? Because we can pick them up, right? Nice. So, the pink petals. Can we only use them? Like, can we only get them from the cherry blossom biome itself? I also love that it's right up against random snowiness. Or can we craft them from the leaves? I mean, I suppose we can find out. Let's see. Let's take that leaf. And that leaf. Oh, cherry leaves. I didn't get any notifications for crafting recipes from those. So, or are they something that springs up around planting a cherry tree? Like, uh... Like, uh, podzel around the giant spruce trees. So I'm wondering if... Does it spread via bone meal? Okay, so I get a little bit of it back. Not a lot. Alright, well, while I would love to stay here forever and ever, amen, we have more exploring to do still. And I think we're going to start making our way back south a little bit. I think. Ooh. Here's an exposed mine shaft with a couple of minecarts. This is really cool. Hello, Mr. Minecart. What do you have for me today? A diamond? Ooh, a golden apple. I'll take it. According to the wiki, you find uh, sniffer eggs in warm ocean ruins. So not just any ocean ruins, but warm ones. Okay. Okay, this is my new favorite favorite area. Um, we've got a beautiful high little meadow surrounded by a flower for forest with cherry trees across the way. <clears throat> I may be building something out here eventually. Oh, and there's a village right there. I kind of want to pack up my entire base and bring it out here now. Oh, just look at it. Just look at it all. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Um... My heart is, like, crying. That's a whole, like, drowned village area. Is that... gonna have... the things that we need? I have come so far and worked so hard. Please, give me the goods. Give me the goods. I need a, I need a new type of animal friend. Not that I want to replace my old animal friends. No, no, no. I love them still. I don't know. This warm ocean I'm estimating is around a thousand blocks by a thousand blocks. And I'm not sure how many of these that I've, of the ruins that I've raided. It's at least half a dozen. Probably closer to eight or ten. And I haven't, I, I've left no stone unturned. And I haven't found a sniffer egg yet. Oh, gosh! Goodness! Excuse you, sir! No! No! Alright, anybody else want to take a bite of that? Trident dude couldn't. <gasps> there it is! Guys... I think that's actually it. I think that's actually it. <gasps> I got it! Finally! <laughs> I got one! <laughs> Smells interesting! 
<laughs> Alrighty, let's uh, go put this in a box. I still would like to find another one because, you know, I'd like to be able to breed them. I, I'm going to go ahead and finish because I've been doing a north to south scouting of this. Um, which, this area I did discover, but I realized there was a little bit beyond it that I hadn't noticed the first time through. So I'm going to kind of keep going around. Look at that sniffer egg. I expected it to look different. Okay, well, I decided to come back to this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cherry grove. Um, and this is where we're going to hatch our sniffer. Now, look at this thing. I feel like it's a little bit too, like, high definition for Minecraft. It's, it's a little weird, but it's also weird. When I was looking for information on where to find the sniffer egg, um, I read on the wiki that they hatch twice as fast if they're on a moss ball. So, we're going to try that. And I think we're going to go ahead and set down our sniffer. Oh my gosh, that thing is huge. <laughs> I was not expecting this. All right, and we'll sit here under our beehives and wait. And I'm going to assume that stepping on is not going to break it, but maybe I should, like, set up a fence around it? I don't know. Mary! Look at the snifflet! Look at the snifflet! Hello, bud! Hi! Oh, you're so cute! Let me grab my axe so I can pick up fence pieces. Squeaker, shall we, shall we, like, go on an adventure, baby Snifflet? You can come out this way. <laughs> Look at how he moves, oh my gosh, you do the snip snip. Oh, he has floppy ears. Look at the floppy ears, he goes snip snip. adorable. You know, I hear you sniff out flowers. Oh. Er. I've just been following this fella around like a babysitter following a toddler around and that is a pillager right there. Oh. Go away, sirs. Bye-bye. He just growed up. I was just thinking about it. I think it's been I think it's been around that 20 minutes. Hi, buddy. You're still so adorable. And you're so big. Look at this guy. Oh so grown up. Hey. Now now do you go searching out flowers and things? Or you just come over and you sniff me? Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Let me give your nose a scritchy scritch here. I've had a lot of cool, peaceful experiences in Minecraft. But this has definitely been one of them. Oh, <laughs> you took a big long whiff there. This has definitely been one of them. Wandering aimlessly in a cherry grove after a little whiny, squeaky toddler snifflet. Hanging out with the bees. Oh, listen to him sniff, sniff, sniff. Oh! <gasps> He do a diggy diggy. He diggy diggy. Oh. oh! Torch flower seeds. Oh my goodness. What a good boy. Well, that answers that question. I think now we have to go grow these. And I think that there's two varieties of plants. I think what we should do is we should build him a little stable here somewhere and plant the seeds around that. Yes, you are correctly getting the impression that I'm about to throw away everything I've ever done in this world to move here and live the simple life of a cherry witch. All right, well, I think we just have a few more details to add to this beautiful little house. But this is what it's looking like so far. Of course, of course, we've built it using 
um, cherry wood and, uh, you know, the logs and different, like, things made from the wood. So trap doors. This is the side detail. Um, yeah, trap doors and fences in the back. I actually really love this back wall. Downstairs is, like, half living quarters, half just a place for our little sniffy friend over there. I think we need to call him, like, Snort or something. And then up here is, like, my bed currently. Um, eventually we'll build myself an actual house. But we can add things like chests up there. Um, but what I want to do right now is I want to try making one of these pots and I'm not sure exactly well there we go that's exactly apparently and I used snort since I have the most of that let's take a look at what that looks like down on the ground oh that's perfect it's got the sniffer on it oh my gosh this is so perfect and you know what we're gonna do I saw somebody do this and I don't remember what it was in it might have been like Azuma but, like, you can put the pot on, the little pot on top, and then you can have a flower in it. So that's by the door of our, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's so cute, I love it. I'm going to take that out of the way because, yeah. Um, but we do have an area for uh, hopefully growing some of these plants around the outside of the house. So let's go ahead and grab those seeds. And let's put torch flower there. That has an advancement planting the past and we'll put the pitcher pod there okay this is so cool eventually we'll put like things all around okay yep that's perfect oh the pitcher pod it bloomed now little buddy have you been like sniffing up more things oh you have there's another pitcher pod all right i'm gonna come over here i'm gonna break our pitcher plant maybe with shears okay so i got the flower but no seeds okay cool that's great to know well i officially adore this very cute little house this is my new favorite thing I love it. Now I think the last thing left is to give Snort his name officially. Hello buddy. I name you Snort. Is it very, very cliche, especially given that like Snort is on the container for, you know, Snort. Yes. Do I love him anyways? Yes. But let me show you your new house, buddy. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, look at him. Come on inside. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe come a little bit away from the door just so that I can go in and out too. Oh, yeah, buddy. Now, I want to try something. I don't know how we apply the smithing template. Is it in an anvil, maybe? I betcha. <laughs> it just clicked in my mind. I betcha. We use a smithing table. Like, that would... Oh my gosh. That would make sense, right? There we go. Let's, let's try this out. Uh, oh, interesting. Okay, cool. So we can add the smithing template there. Piece of armor. And... Oh, we can use quartz? Like, maybe that. I don't think that's necessarily what I'm going to go with. But it shows you. Ooh, I actually really like the green on this one. Now the question is, could we change it later? Let's let's try this with like a set of iron. Set of iron armor. If we add this and this, I've plenty of these, I'm not worried about it. If 
we do that, it looks really, really heckin' cool. Ooh, crafting a new look, huh? Can we then maybe take this uh, and this here and this here and maybe that? Okay, yeah, so we can do that. We can change it later. That's good to know. All right. And I think for now... I actually really like how the green looks on the nether, all right? I was not expecting that. Let's do that on our boots. Just our boots for now. <gasps> Very cool. And then we put them on and ta-da! Oh, these are cute. I like it. It def definitely goes with my vibes. Okay. We're going to say goodbye to Snort for now. But we'll be back in just a little bit because the last thing I want to do, I think, at this point is I want to... Oh, the sun's already going down. Uh, <laughs> great. I want to go find the stronghold, try to find the armor trim that comes from the stronghold, and then go back to our spawn and make a portal over here, over to here from the roof. And we're going to head off in this direction. Yes, I do have the coordinates for our place and our portal. Okay, we're gonna drink ourselves a water breathing potion and head right on down, I suppose. Aha, here we are. Ooh, there's an amethyst. Ouch. I'm so entirely lost at this point, too. Oh my god. I'm really glad that they ended up at the door together. Uh, glad they ended up stuck against each other there for a second, because uh, that made that a lot more doable. Uh, there's not more. Gosh. What am I supposed to do at this point? Getting home via stronghold seemed like a great idea until this. <laughs> yep, that went straight down, didn't it? Yep. Alright. Well, that's bedrock, so... I'm going to assume that means that there's no stronghold here. Oh, Doc, he, he laid down to sleep? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. All right, well, continuing on. There it is. Okay. Gosh. Oh, that's a witch. That's a cave. He was waiting for me. Alright, we won't go through that door just yet. So, let's gather all these things. Check in the chest. Ooh, there's a smithing template. Very cool. I mean, this looks up. This looks kind of like the setup before a portal. Oh, there it is! There's the portal room. Okay. Saddle, I'll take it. Let's listen to this beautiful, beautiful sound. Boom, boom, boom! There we go! Alright. And before we, uh, go, we need to make sure that we break our spawn point, because, you know, that's the whole point of this. And then we're going to jump back in, and we're going to be very careful, because we don't have a pumpkin with us. I recently learned that these regenerate, uh, when you bring back the dragon. So, we're going to just grab a bunch of obsidian, because we need that. Now that the angry, angry endermen have all been eliminated, let's head on back. Hopefully it's, uh, 
not nighttime, but we should be okay. Regardless. Oh, and it's daytime. Here we are. And then we're going to light it and hope that it doesn't put us into a cave under the ocean. Oh, that's perfect. That's so perfect. We might scooch it back a little bit. Please don't go into the portal, Snort. I'd rather you, you stay on this side of it. In fact, let's... Let's cover it up with some cherry blossoms. Snort! Snort! Buddy! Oh my gosh! You little turd! Scooch! Scooch away! Scooch away! Scooch away! You did such a good job. Yes, you did, bud. Yes, you did. Now, we've had quite an adventure today. We explored so many thousands of blocks. It's actually kind of crazy. I ended up out at like negative 10,000, 11,000 actually when we went to look for the stronghold and like negative 7,000 in the Z coordinates at one point. But of course, a day of exploring wouldn't be complete without taking a peek at some of the things we picked up on the way. So these are like the big things that I got today. Um, we had our smithing templates, so we ended up with the eye armor trim and a bunch of the coast armor trim. For 1.20, we also ended up with pottery shards. Um, we got the mourner one, the plenty one, blade, angler, snort, shelter, and explorer. And then of course we picked up some things like so many hearts of the sea, diamonds, diamond horse armor, and then cherry cherry goods as well. Oh, and we did get our first trident, so that's pretty cool. Um, But yeah, we picked up all the things for cherry trees and like, oh, it's getting dark. Um, We do have a great source of those now. Then of course we got our sniffer buddy. Oh my gosh. Oh, he did! Right in the front yard. Oh, those are torch flower seeds. I don't have nearly as many of those. Oh, yeah. Are you so happy and excited? Yes, you did so good. <laughs> yeah, so we got our sniffer friend. One egg out of all of the archaeology digging we did. They're a little tough to find. Um, But he's been giving us seeds, too. So we have our pitcher flower plant things and our torch flowers um i i love i love the big pots they're cool and i love the cherry trees the saplings that you can put in pots um so yeah lots of cool plant things which i love obviously i've never gone through an update before this is my first one but i feel like there was so much added like there was, there's so much to do, and there are things I still haven't done or used yet, too. The archaeology, especially, just adds a big layer of, like, activity to the game that you can get really lost in. I don't know, I had a lot of fun with that. It's a really cool mechanic. I have enjoyed exploring 1.20 so much. Uh, first update ever, and I think it was a great one to come in on anyways. Um, yeah. We, we, we have such a cute little extra house area now, and we're all connected up, and we have a very talkative, grumbly pet. I love him so much. But I had so much fun exploring 1.20. Um, I am doing a lot of learning about Minecraft still, even though I do feel a lot more confident with it. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, please do give it a like and consider subscribing. I hope I'll see you around for the next one. Bye!